Hey friends, Mike and Jess here. And welcome to Regeneration Nation TV Gaming, where we are continuing our journey through Overwatch. We just finished Genesis Part 1 Dawn. This yeah. is the anime short for Overwatch. That was pretty freaking epic. Pretty I awesome. did not know that Overwatch made animes. Yeah, it's okay. awesome. They should when do are we getting the full series? Yeah. Okay. That was pretty freaking awesome. Yeah. So, I don't want to spoil our reaction here in the intro or anything. But it left us wanting more, for it sure. It definitely wanted, left us wanting more. If this is your first time checking it out, you're in for a treat. You get a little bit of the introduction to how we got here mm -hmm. in the first place. It was a treat for us, for sure. Yep. Jess got a little freaked out. AI is about to take over the world. I don't know. you have to see what her, uh, what her thoughts were on that. <laughs> yeah. She's freaking me out over stay here. Stay tuned just to see. All right. Well... <laughs> We've got links for Overwatch official channel, this original video down below. Make mm -hmm. sure you go support the original videos, and uh, let's get into this. Let's do it. Are you using tobacco? I'm not using tobacco, but somebody is. Ground forces deployed to Rally Point Green. Sky, what's your inbound? Roger. 30 seconds. Battalion spotted your sector. 50 clicks south-southeast. Copy that. Delta, take positions. It's a different anime, like Overwatch animation style. Overwatch on site. Taking heavy fire. Sky, confirm target. Under said anime. Yeah, anime. Units approaching. Grid point it, one it, nine, Charlie. Like You've been spotted. You've been spotted. Get out of here, Sky. Get out of here. No matter what you call them, war bots, team Kens, they were soulless machines. But the truth is, we were scared. I was scared. They were supposed to be the beginning of a new life. Darn. But in that moment, it felt like the end of humanity. Life before the war was <laughs> extraordinary. Anything was possible. We had implemented God programs. The next generation of artificial intelligence became omnipresent. They controlled most of our infrastructures like the food distribution systems aimed at helping against famine. Poverty. Are we ever gonna have we were stars, you no think? longer defined by our mistakes. No, the AIs were saving us from them. Wow! Oh, wow. Artificial intelligence was running systems to make our lives better, but Man, this is what was stuff really that... exciting was combining it with robotics. Omnicorp started building a new line of state-of-the-art robots. Onyx would eventually eliminate the need for humans to do all those idle, mundane, often dangerous jobs. Everyday needs? This is crazy, that dude. That puts power at your fingertips. A line of robots that put power by your side. And geared up to put power in their hands. Omnica Corp. Always looking to what's next. Society embraced it. Uh, sure, we had the pedal to the metal. But who was really paying attention to the road? Look, Omnica kept making robots I like smarter this animation and made life style. easier mm -hmm. and safer. And as you know, oh. this business is all about what's next. And what was next was Mina. And in Tech Talk, Omnica Core announced today that Dr. Mina Liao, the science prodigy and eminent visionary in robotics, will develop the next generation of Omnics. Omnica Core has made a lot of strides, and, well, we're going to do better. What I mean is, they've done great. We've done great. But it's time to reach for the stars. Frankly, I had my doubts. Dr. Liao was a legend in her field, but we were asking her to push the limits of what many thought was already perfection. 
Man, I want a whole show like this. Yeah. This, this is, is an awesome little intro. This is really Somebody cool. should have put a stop to it. It wasn't science. It was arrogance. When it came down to the moment of truth, we had no idea what was about to happen. <laughs> it didn't just activate. She was born. Life Holy before crap. the war was extraordinary. Anything was possible. That's weird. It, it, it invoked that emotion in me as well. Like, I don't know. My eyes started watering up. It I know I'm the crier me. here, but dang. It's mm -hmm. scary, but it's, also it's just kind of just mind-boggling to think about. I don't want to get into conspiracies or anything because I'm not sitting in here in a bunker or something thinking, thinking that something's happening at any moment. But, like, we can learn a lot from all these movies that we've been given. <laughs> I don't want to say that. But, like, I don't believe that anything's going to happen, like, tomorrow. But I'm just saying a lot of people don't leave well enough alone. And I'm not saying to don't, like, stop with technology. I'm not saying that at all because we need technology. Technology has been better advanced. It's given us a lot of things that we actually do need as a society. But I feel like when people don't leave well enough alone, things like this happen. And I feel like this can happen. And it's very scary. Seems like the people in charge of all of this stuff have never seen terminator they've never played overwatch we don't need any skynet man come on now <laughs> turn your iphones off right now i know Just someone who them. when chat gpt was first taken off they were literally scared that it, we only had months left yeah. okay look it's been a few months now we're good we're, we're still, still good here. was possible like this is too much but it was all about to change What? That's it? No, I it. want more. Yeah. No. You're just getting the, the oh. pre, the pre of it. Are you kidding me? Nothing else. Invasion? Is this a uh, like a DLC kind of thing? These What's we're watching them in chronological order. Mm -hmm. So this was actually released just this past year. Okay. So with Overwatch two. Okay, there's a lot to explain here. I just started playing Overwatch, but I, d I have followed like the news and the story mm -hmm. of it. Um, Overwatch 2 is basically Overwatch 1. The, ch the difference was supposed to be there was supposed to be a bunch of PvE stuff to do. Okay. Like with Destiny. Mm -hmm. You have the PvE that makes up the primary My bulk of the game. My favorite part of Destiny 2, yes. And then they have the PvP. Mm -hmm. Well, they were going to make PvE content for Overwatch 2. And I think that that was like a lead up to it, a lead into it. What They've taken a, most of the PvE plans and canceled them. Discarded but them. But... Every once in a while, they release these invasion like mode things. Mm -hmm. I've never played one, so I don't really know much about them. Um, but is but it they PvE? are like it is. I'm interested. Uh, yeah, in it's the not invasion. much PVE content in the game, but there is some. Okay. And they're just adding like one little story at a time, or oh, I don't know how the PVE stuff works. I still yeah. need to check that stuff out. But you guys can leave um, that in the comment section because I know you will yeah. let us know. Let us know if you've played the PVE stuff. Is it worth diving into? I know you have to buy that stuff extra. Is it worth it? Because Overwatch is a free to play game, but I I don't mind supporting free to play games that are awesome. Overwatch. Two has been awesome mm -hmm. from what I've played, so yeah, I don't, I don't mind like spending money on a free to play game. Yeah, and for somebody that likes PVE, let me know. Yeah, she's please, PVE I... <laughs> all day, and I like PVE too. I played yeah. Destiny for a long time. Yeah, I was super excited when I heard that they were gonna release PVE content. I was bummed out when I heard that it was taken away and canceled, but then they're quickly like, well, we're still gonna add some. Yeah, it's gonna be some it's in there, be but little bit. yeah, not what everybody was expecting. Yeah, so. I'm excited Still, about this that. anime, dude. Mm -hmm. No, like what? This is cool. So I've been introduced to a, a couple of different animes. Uh, Death Note was my first one that we watched all the way through. Uh, yeah. The first season is my favorite, but that was fun. just that anime style and the way that they can get 
the um, emotion projected in their faces and they're literally just cartoon animation. Like, that's just amazing to me. And then this is no exception. Like, that How was so cool. dare you call cool. anime cartoon, okay? Huh? I know I'm enough s- about it to know that's offensive, dude. Is it? I'm just messing I, If I offended anyone, messing. I apologize. I'm a newbie here. <laughs> um, but to the anime, sorry, to the anime animation. Um, but yeah, to portray those emotions is pretty awesome. Would you stop it? I'm sorry, stop. Dude. Get him out of here, you guys. My Cut. Bad, dude. Tell my him bad. to get off my back. I need you to I'm get all, all the way off, off my back. back about it. I'm all the way off your back about it. All right. <laughs> that was so funny. Though. But yeah, I, lo- I definitely love that. And it made me want more. And I love when you can watch something in such a short period of time. And you're like, no, that was over. It's it. Are you serious? Let yeah. me see more, please. Well, there is part two. I don't know when part two comes up in the chronological order that we're following. Mm-hmm. Following. <laughs> But I'm excited for it. I wish that there was a whole voice. Overwatch freaking anime coming mm-hmm. out. There needs to be a series now. They yeah, need seriously. to get with it. They, they, they <laughs> really do. All right. Well, that was enjoyable. Getting a little bit of more of the, the beginnings mm-hmm. of all of this. How we got to where we are now. Mm-hmm. So I really like that. Yeah, me too. All right, friends. We'll see you on the next one. Bye, friends. Peace. I'm not scared of your love. So show me.